Origin 2017 features a new Reference Lines dialog, allowing you to highlight sections of your plots with ease. For example, here we have some temperature data for Tucson, Arizona in the winter. Let's say we'd like to illustrate how daylight affects these temperature readings. To add some reference lines for the sunrise and sunset, we'll double-click on an axis to go into the axis dialog. Reference lines can be used for both the horizontal and vertical axes, but in this case, we're only interested in the vertical reference lines. Because our x-axis is formatted as time data, when we double-click on an axis value cell, a window will appear with time formatted integers. By default, when values are added, reference lines will be added to our graph. As you may have noticed, there are columns for lines, fills, labels, and label properties. There are also two preset checkboxes that allow you to fill between these lines automatically. Upon checking the alternate fill button, every other space between lines will be given a gray fill. If we check the alternate fill including axis begin and end button, the gray fill will be moved from the first line to the first value on the axis up until that point, making it easy to highlight between different values. However, let's say we don't want the filled section to be gray, or rather, we want two consecutive sections to be filled rather than alternating. To apply custom fills to an area, select a value in the list and click on the Details button. This opens the Reference Lines dialog where we can turn off auto formatting and apply custom fills and change the line color, allowing us to create unique reference lines on our graph. In this next example, we'll learn how to add multiple reference lines from pre-existing data. This chart shows the gross domestic product of the United States by year, and we'd like to add reference lines for those years which the economy entered a recession. To do this, we'll go back into the Axis dialog, and in the Reference Lines tab, we'll use the Select from Worksheet button to bring in some data that indicates when these recessions began and ended. After selecting the respective column for this data, we'll go back to the Axis dialog and check the alternate fill box. As you can see, our Reference Line data has been filled with our Axis breaks displayed with this data. This has been a brief introduction to reference lines in Origin 2017.